what would happen if we applied generative AI to that? We have now created a computer. I showed you, Grace Hopper. It can be deployed broadly all over the world, easily. And as a result, every data center, every server will have generative AI capability. What would happen if instead of decompression, streaming, and re, you know, uh, uh, recovering, decompression, compression, decompression, what if the cloud performed generative AI capability to it? Let's take a look. The future of wireless and video communications will be 3D, generated by AI. Let's take a look at how NVIDIA Maxine 3D, running on the NVIDIA Grace Hopper Super Chip, can enable 3D video conferencing on any device without specialized software or hardware. Starting with a standard 2D camera sensor that's in most cell phones, laptops, and webcams, and tapping into the processing power of Grace Hopper, Maxine 3D converts these 2D videos to 3D using cloud services. This brings a new dimension to video conferencing with Maxine 3D visualization, creating an enhanced sense of depth and presence. You can dynamically adjust the camera to see every angle in motion. Engage with others more directly with enhanced eye contact. And personalize your experience with animated avatars, stylizing them with simple text prompts. With Maxine's language capabilities, your avatar can speak in other languages, even ones you don't know. And media, AI, life on me, Sinda, Jodu function. In new media work, Saseke AI will motivate communication digits. NVIDIA Maxine 3D, together with Grace Hopper, bring immersive 3D video conferencing to anyone with a mobile device, revolutionizing the way we connect, communicate, and collaborate. Why is that so Why Why Okay, so all of the words, all of the words coming out of my mouth, of course, was generated by AI. So instead of compression, stream, and decompression, in the future, communications will be perceive, stream, and reconstruction, regeneration. And it can be generated in all kinds of different ways. It could be generated in 3D, of course, it can regenerate your language in another language. So we now have a universal translator. This computing technology could be, of course, placed into every single cloud. But the thing that's really amazing, Grace Hopper is so fast, it can even run the 5G stack. A state-of-the-art 5G stack could just run in software in Grace Hopper, completely free, completely free. <laughs>